Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mech Weapon Spotlight. And today you'd better buckle up because we are really taking off. What? What are you talking about? Oh, is this because... Because today we're talking about rockets, which is going to be great because everyone loves rockets and rockets fly, so... They take off, yes. We're talking about missiles, technically. Whatever, let's begin. Okay, first of all, why would you want to use missiles in the mech arena? What are some of the benefits there? Well, they're not sniper rifles, but they're pretty long range and usually deal full damage even at distant targets. If you can hit those targets. Missiles aren't bullets. They have serious travel time. And what's this about usually? Well, voltaic RPGs don't deal full damage at max range, but the rest do. And yes, you're right, you have to lead your shots if you can, or just shoot at targets coming right at you. Voltaic? What? Are those new? Actually, why don't you just get into the types of missile weapons? Good idea. So, firstly, we have RPGs. These handy rocket launchers are available early on in the game, and they're a handy workhorse for a long while. Later, you'll get access to missile racks, which are powerful burst attack weapons. Voltaic RPGs are rare and might only be available in special circumstances, but they're very strong if you can get them. What a selection. All right, let's start from the top. Tell me about RPGs. RPGs have a decent magazine compared to other missile weapons, so they actually can work pretty well in extended fights. They might deal full damage all the way up to their max range, but their max range isn't unbelievably far, just over 100 meters. Well, they're still missiles too. You can't hit most targets from that far away anyway. The guy you're shooting at can just step out of the way, right? It's true. A moving target is really hard to hit at that range. But RPG projectiles actually get faster the higher rank the weapon is, so it can be quite hard to dodge. Oh, well, that sounds quite handy. And it helps that RPGs deal damage in a radius. Hitting the ground near your target will hit just as hard as hitting the mech itself. But that radius is small, so while you can also potentially hit multiple targets at once, you'll want a different weapon for really just blasting an entire area. The missile rack? The missile rack is right. Oh, this thing is definitely my favorite. And I know I'm not the only one. Unleashing a huge stream of missiles right into the back of an unsuspecting enemy? Ah, there's nothing that beats it. You're not wrong. The sheer power of the missile rack makes it a weapon to be reckoned with. And its area of effect is large enough that your short blast of missiles could take out not just your target, but their neighbors as well. I've been on the receiving end of plenty of missile racks, and I can tell you, it's terrifying. Terrifying, yes, but it's not perfect. The problem with Missile Rack is that once you've unleashed your firestorm, you're done, and it takes ages to reload. Yeah, makes sense. But you can afford it if you're shooting from a very long distance. What's the range on this again? It's 150 meters, which puts a lot of distance between you and the target. But the slower projectile really begins to tell. If you're going to shoot something far away, make sure it's not moving. Honestly, the same goes for targets that are right next to you. The reload time is killer. So true. Well, okay, like we've said before, it's no sniper rifle. How should a missile rack be used? Ambush if you can, and brawling if you must. Stepping out and blowing away your enemy is what a missile rack is for. It deals all of its damage all at once, leaving you free to duck back out of the way before the enemy can retaliate. So I suppose the best sorts of mechs for using missile racks are fast, or only have a limited window in which to attack. Guardians, Zephyrs, and Surges could disable the enemy and leave them open for an easy barrage. Absolutely. But don't discount the little guys. A heavily upgraded Cheetah or even a Lancer can prove deadly when armed with the lighter missile racks. Ah, yeah. The fast attack speed combines well with a reliance on hit-and-run tactics. Exactly. Or, well, you can also use them in hit-and-hit -hit tactics. Kill shots do well with missile racks. Missiles soften up the enemy. Then a melee dash finishes them off. Brutal. Okay, so I've been patient, but it's time. Tell me about these Volti RPGs. Voltaic RPGs. These are heavy RPGs that hit extremely hard and apply a nasty shock effect on everything in rather substantial blast radius. Whoa, is that the weird screen shake thing you get from Arc Torrents? It is indeed. Sounds rough. Are they otherwise just like an RPG? Well, kind of. Voltaic RPGs are heavier than regular RPGs taking up a lot more energy capacity. Sure, but it sounds like the deal damage to match that. Definitely. Unlike RPGs, Voltaic RPGs deal less damage the further you are from the optimal range. They also have a slightly shorter range overall and much smaller magazines. But on the upside, the rockets fly really quick. Well, that sounds nice. 
They sound like absolutely devastating weapons, especially in the hands of mechs that can fight from medium to short range. Ares and Juggernaut come to mind. Both excellent choices, but they're large targets, easy to hit even when the shooter is under a shock effect. Better to use a faster, smaller mech, like a cheetah or a shadow. <laughs> With those energy requirements, though, maybe just one of them? <laughs> yeah, your mech might look a bit lopsided, but it'll still hit like a truck. All right. I think that wraps up this mech spotlight. We've covered the basics, offered some advice, and now it's up to you to show us what you've got. Until next time, good luck, guys.